While butterflies help the environment by pollinating plants as they feed on nectar, other insects can do damage to it. One insect can take down a whole tree as its larvae eat away at the wood underneath the bark. Millions of trees have already died. In an effort to slow the invasion, the Iowa Department of Natural Resources has implemented a statewide quarantine. They're asking people not to transport firewood across county or state lines because it poses the greatest threat to quickly spreading this little metallic green-colored bug, smaller than a penny. Iowa is under invasion, and at risk are an estimated 63 million ash trees. The intruder is a metallic green-colored bug known as the emerald ash borer. For the bright immediate future, this is going to have a huge effect on the Iowa landscape because everything that we're learning from the eastern states is this will pretty much functionally eradicate ash trees. Considered the most destructive forest pest ever seen in North America, native ash trees have little to no resistance to the emerald ash borer, or EAB. The adult is no larger than Lincoln's head on a U.S. penny, but it is the larvae that do all the damage. You know, the emerald ash borer adult, that, you know, nice little green beetle, but it's that larva tunneling right underneath um, the bark that essentially girdles the tree underneath, and that's why the tree dies. And emerald ash borers will start at the top of the tree and work their way down. And normally they'll be in a tree for multiple years before the whole tree would die and you'd see damage in the trunk. But all this just winding tunneling, so that's years worth of feeding by the emerald ash borer larva that have killed the tree. The female lays 60 to 90 eggs in the crevices of the bark of an ash tree. And in seven to 10 days, the beetle larvae burrow through the bark and begin to feed on the tree. In one to two years, the adults emerge through a small D-shaped hole. Identifying a tree under attack is difficult, with the most evident signs occurring as the tree dies. When you start noticing canopy loss in your tree, it's, it's not too late to treat, but you really, it depends on how observant you are of your tree. We look at about 20 to 30 percent canopy loss. When it's reached that point, we don't recommend to treat anymore. Before 20 to 30 percent canopy loss, you can still treat and save the tree. First reported in Michigan in 2002, the emerald ash borer is an invasive species from Asia. EAB has spread to 22 different states now, and while the invaders don't spread quickly, importing wood from infected areas hastens the infestation. You know, for years we had this green and white sign that warned everybody about not moving firewood because of emerald ash borer, and now we have this blaze orange sign that asks all campers to please declare any out-of-state firewood, because not only do we worry about emerald ash borer, but we worry about oak wilt, something that we've been dealing with for years, but other pests like Asian longhorn beetle, walnut twig beetle that causes cells and cankers disease, and many, many more pests that move in firewood. The Department of Natural Resources has put Iowa under an EAB quarantine, and wood from Iowa should not be taken out of state. In state, firewood has to be identified, and anyone transporting wood without identification faces being ticketed. So even if you harvested it from your backyard and you're gonna carry it from your backyard to whatever campground you're gonna camp in, you have to write yourself this receipt and carry it with you. This would allow us to identify if there was any unknown pest to us inside this firewood, we could trace it back to the place where it was harvested and see if we couldn't eradicate it early. It is believed there are 8 billion ash trees in the United States. Already, the emerald ash borer has killed approximately 150 to 200 million ash trees. <laughs>